Child Evangelism Fellowship of Uganda is an evangelical fellowship whose purpose is to evangelize the 17 million of Ugandan children, disciple and establish them in our local church. You are in God's kingdom. It is composed of individual Christians who have a vision and a burden of evangelizing children. The fellowship is not a church, but it equips churches and organizations through its education and training programs for children, Sunday school teachers, and good news clubs. Child Evangelism Fellowship of Uganda is part of the International Fellowship which was started by Reverend Ivan Jesse Overholzer in California, USA in 1937. His vision was based on the Gospel of Matthew chapter 18 verse 14 which says, In the same way, your Father in heaven does not want any of these little ones to be lost. In May 2017, Child Evangelism Fellowship will be celebrating 80 years of ministry in almost all countries of the world. It has been a daily journey of reaching a child every day in every nation in this world. The Ugandan ministry was started by missionaries from Burundi, Reverend Rutuna and his wife in 1968. The children's ministry, however, was short-lived, as in 1971, the then President Idi Amin banned all parachurch organizations and churches except the Catholic Church, the Anglican Church of Uganda, and the Muslim faith. In 1981, after the fall of Idi Amin, Child Evangelism Fellowship of Uganda was revived by the late Reverend Robinson Luizi and the late Henry Cheyune, who became the National Director and the Chairman of the National Committee, respectively. When Reverend Robinson retired, Mr. Stephen Bunjo Musisi got the leadership of CEF in 1997 finding Mrs. Beatrice Bakhera as the only full-time worker. So I went to Nairobi to do the leadership training institute. That was 89. So from there, my focus had changed. And when God called me, told me, look to me for your support. And from that time, I started to work with the CF up to now. The young organization lacked its own premises and had to move its offices from place to place in homes and churches. We started in uh, St. James, then from St. James we went to Chitamileke House, that is uh, still Chiseng. From there we went to Mnaku. During that time we had another uh, a missionary, that's called uh, Pat Mendoza. As then from there we went to Nakulabie. We are working with, the, teaming up with Religious Society of Uganda. We had an office there until we had to leave that place to Mr. Musisi. Mr. Stephen Bunjo Musisi, the former national director, and his wife Marjorie Musisi were among the Good Samaritans that hosted the roving ministry in their home in Kasangati, a Kampala city suburb. When you shifted from other SEO, now this is our uh, that this was our office that this was our next office from 1997 up to 2005 there that's when also shifted from here this office to our plot where we are now right now constructing the office so but by then all for those years we have been operating in this office thankfully through missionaries Joyce and Joseph Choi from South Korea we were able to acquire the land. In the year 2004, with the grant from overseas friends, in particular 
Esther Gutaka, a young missionary to Uganda, and her father, who put up a project entitled Pedaling for Africa, and contributions from local brethren, the National Board started building offices in Kasangati. On 18th September 2006, the National Office moved from the former National Director's home to its new premises. In June 2015, Mr. Stephen Bunjomusisi retired in the position of the National Director, leaving 27 full-time workers and he gave the mantle to Mr. Emmanuel and Lillian Mukasa. As Emmanuel Mukasa got the leadership, he saw an urgency to continue this building project by adding to the first floor structure. So since 2015, I, I was appointed the new national director of Uganda. The task we have to, 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 to do during this time is to see that at least we complete our offices right now because we are looking for an office where we can be operating, where we can do our trainings, where we can do all those other activities we do so that we can be able to have many people to see that this work continue to reach many children in Uganda. Right now in Uganda we have different branches. We have 11 branches. This is the headquarters where the, just the materials uh, they use in those branches. They use them from here in the Colpers. So this is the coordinating place for the whole of Uganda so that CF work can be taken to all the children in this world and children will be able to be evangelized every day. The way CEF have been uh, being administered, we have we start from the home office and we have the headquarters in the, in the states, but we also have the regional offices which are now in Nairobi and uh, Mr. Kapol is the one taking and has 11 countries and among those 11 countries, Uganda is part of those 11 countries. In Uganda, I'm the national director and also when we come here in Uganda, we have the branches and so far now we have 11 branches. Here in the central, we have Kampala branch being headed by Mr. Himbisiwe Charles. We have in Lugazi, where Mrs. Pros Narubira is the one heading. We have in Uelo, where Mrs. Magezi is heading. We have on PG, where Mrs. Susan Chibuka is also heading. And we have Iwakiso, where Mr. Male is also heading. When we go in the east, we have in Imbale, we have Mr. James Maberi, who is now heading that branch. And in Vudaka, where Mr. Kiria is the one heading. In the north, we have in Gulu. Mr. J. Aulala Samuel is the one heading that branch. And when you go to the west, we have Mbarara, where Mr. Francis Natumanya is the one heading that branch. And also in Kabale, we have Mr. Nelson Mohezi. And also in Kasese, we have Mr. Isaac Areja. Those are the branches we are having. Now, as I have mentioned all those areas, you realize that in each area we are having two staff and they can't cover all the children in our country. Uganda now we have about 17 million. So people, they can't, we can't cover all those areas. And also, in Uganda we are supposed to have at, at least 20 local areas, but so far now we only have 11. So we are still remaining with areas like Masaka, we need a local area there, in Mitiana, Oima, we have Toro, Arua, Karamoja, Kapchora, Soroti, Lila, and Jinja. We are looking forward to see people there serving the Lord. The proposed five storage structure is currently on the second floor and is now housing over 30 full time employees and volunteers led by the national director. The national board gives direction and advice for the running of the fellowship. Child Evangelism Fellowship of Uganda has not only grown in numbers and infrastructure, but also in ministry to the children and the youth. Currently, its main programs cover 10 activities including Good News Clubs. We made him 
For he made him who knew not sin mm -hmm. to be sin for us, that we may that we may become the righteousness of God in Christ. Praise the Lord. Yes. Pull out riches. And the dad of Abraham was worshipping idols. Was worshipping what? Idols. Open air evangelism. Seasonal parties, literature, and trainings. First of all, we have what is called the statement of faith. This statement of faith is signed annually, but whoever is trained and wants to be part of Child Evangelism Fellowship has to sign it to show that you believe in what the organization believes and do what it really teaches. So there is a training which you have to take before you become a part of a Child Evangelism Fellowship. It's called Teaching Children Effectively. That training equips you with the skills to teach children, lead children to Christ, and at the same time even do discipleship part of it. There is also what we call super seminar. If you don't take the other one, you can take a super seminar that takes a few days compared to teaching children effectively, level one. So after that, you, you will be able to teach children whatever kind of ministry is. That can also help you to be part of child evangelism fellowship as you do what we are doing. Like you can do what is called good news clubs in your community or in schools. You can also run what is called five day clubs in the studio and community. You can also do what is called open air. Open air you do it on your own, any time you want, any time of the day, you can do it as you, probably you are in a bank, chewing, if there are some children there, you can meet them in a taxi, or even on the street. School ministry, most of the schools give us, open their doors for us to do the ministry. You can go, even if it is one, a one school, so you can spare your time to do the, open, uh, the school ministry evangelism. We have also what we call uh, party clubs. This is, and you can do a party club during Easter time or Christmas time. That is what we call even birthday parties. In most cases, children here don't celebrate birthdays as they don't celebrate parties. But what we do, we can invite children in the community and celebrate a one day birthday party for everyone they celebrate but the major part of it is to share the gospel so for them as they enjoy whatever is given out during the party they enjoy that for, for you you are achieving the objective or our goal of which is found in Matthew chapter 18 verse 14 that it's not the will of our father that one of these little ones should perish trainings have been the foundation to recruit staff and volunteers that can empower teachers to reach the children. My name is Paul Tevi, and I'm currently a volunteer in Child Evangelism Fellowship, Kampala local area. I came to know about CEF when I was seven years of age. Um, during that time, we used to go for the Bible camps that were prepared by CEF. And all through my life, I've been coming to those camps. Not until I reached an age that I couldn't go back to those camps because they have an age limit. So in all those camps I was always challenged and encouraged to reach out to more boys and girls in the gospel of Christ. It's from that point that I was, that I was geared to come into one of the trainings that CEF always organizes, that is Christian Youth in Action. Um, when, I, when I entered into Christian Youth in Action, that is 2013, my level one, I really did it so well and, and I was inspired to even come back for these other levels. Currently I'm doing level three in CYIA and I also did another training called Teaching Children Effective level one. When I was in level two, I got an opportunity to go to Nairobi 
to do my dynamics of teacher training and that was for two weeks. From there I got more skills and I got more encouraged and challenged to reach out and teach even my fellow youth to go out and evangelize the boys and girls. So you can also be part in giving. Uh, when we, we, look for, uh, we looked at our policy, financial policy, which is uh, ask God and tell his people. So in this area you, will be, you can give towards the ministry in different areas. Like now we have a building, we are constructing a building. So whereby we need some money in order to complete what is on our plate. Or you can give towards the staff. Not every staff is able to get what is supposed to get. But when you give, that's also a contribution. We have missions whereby we need people who can give towards the missions. Like during the Holy Week, we go to different schools where we normally don't go. When you give, however little, however big you give, that is being part of the ministry. Because through people like you or any other person, that's how we can achieve our objective. So you can also pray. When you pray, that's also being part of Shaudi Evangelism Fellowship. So how can you know how to pray, what to pray and when to pray? We have, uh, we have newsletters which we provide probably quarterly, so we can